flagship smartphones receive all the limelight. From first day coverage until it becomes about a year old. A luxury that budget smartphones rarely ever receive. My name is The Mohawk Guy and today things are about to change as we take a look at one of the best budget smartphones of 2016, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, and how well it fares into 2017. Just by taking a look at the outer shell of the phone, it was really hard for me to believe that it was just 800 ringgits. This is the high spec model, mind you, but more about specs in a little while. Yes, you heard me correct, 800 ringgits, that's roughly only about 180 US dollars. And taking a spin around the body, you'll be very impressed with the design. The sandblasted anodized aluminum alloy unibody feels very premium. That was a mouthful. The slight curves on the back means that the phone will rest in your palm nicely, albeit it is a tad bit on the slippery side. The chamfered edges on the railings of the phone give the Redmi Note 4 a very polished and refined look to it. The build of the device is outstanding. No creaking or weak point whatsoever to be found, and no, it doesn't bend. Overall, the design and build is truly impressive at this price point, even rivaling its 700 US dollars slash 3000 ringgit competition. Now enough about the design, let's talk about the specs. The Redmi Note 4 packs a very powerful MediaTek chipset, the Helio X20 Decacore chipset clocked in at a high 2.1 GHz. Yes, this phone has the world's first 10-core CPU. Well, to break it down into more detail, it has three clusters of CPU cores. The first cluster having two A72 cores, and the two other clusters are A53 cores with one cluster at 1.8 GHz for medium duty, and the other cluster at 1.1 GHz for low power usages. This, in turn, should give the Redmi Note 4 very high performance, while also being very energy efficient. Powering this thing is a very gigantic 4100 mAh battery, and paired with the power sipping 1080p display, this is truly the formula for epic battery life. Needless to say, the A72 cores truly shine, giving this phone a very healthy score in Geekbench and Antutu. Not flagship killing levels, but very good performance considering the fact that this phone costs less than half of what flagships costs. The brains in the phone is Xiaomi's MIUI, now in its 8th iteration, and scrolling through the UI is a breeze, but more on that later. The performance is as good as it gets. Apps open very fast, heavy games like Asphalt 8 ran like a charm thanks to its 700MHz Mali T880 MP4 GPU, Yes, that's the same GPU inside the Galaxy S7 Edge, only with some of its GPU cores disabled. Taking a look deeper into its MIUI software, Xiaomi has really upped its game and delivered a very polished look and feel. The minute attention to detail in the UI really helps the Note 4 feel twice its price. From its time tracking notification sheet animation, and the more than I thought would have use of Google's material design language in some of the apps designed by Xiaomi. The 13 megapixel PDAF camera on the back is an undisclosed model, but it performs very well. In bright daylight, detail is plenty. Bring down the lights a bit, and the Redmi Note 4 still fares very well, with only a slight increase in noise. The camera software is really light with only a few shooting modes, one of them being a rather anemic manual mode and a mode that can capture PowerPoint notes. The camera's shutter speed is very fast, instantly capturing and saving the image into the gallery. Post-processing speed taken with the HDR mode is rather slower than what I'm used to, but of course, keep in mind that this is just a, an 800 ringgit phone. Video is recorded at a very steady 30fps at 1080p, 
but starts to drop frames when you start to shoot in low light. Detail is sharp when recording videos. There's also a 120fps slow motion option, but oddly, you need to manually set the recording resolution to 720p to enable this feature. The quality of the slow motion shots are just okay when you pour enough light into the shot. Powered by a 4100mAh battery, one can only expect epic long battery life. And the Redmi Note 4 does not disappoint. Even after bombarding the phone all day playing Asphalt 8, watching YouTube videos in 1080p, surfing the web, and window shopping, at the end of the day, the Redmi Note 4 still has around 20% left by 10pm. With light to medium usages, it can easily last for 2 days. With the review out of the way, let's go back to the topic of the video. Is it still worth buying the Redmi Note 4, a budget flagship of yesteryear in 2017? A flagship body? Check. A beefy battery life? Check. Near flagship-like performance? Check. There is nothing about the Redmi Note 4 that screams budget aside from the absence of NFC. With MIUI in its 8th iteration receiving constant updates, I've received about 3 updates ever since its first boot, and Xiaomi having a good track record of even updating its rather older models, I would lean heavily towards yes. It is still worth buying this beast of a phone a year later. And that was it guys, thank you very much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs down if you did not. Press that subscribe button if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and also Facebook. I am no longer on Facebook, I will not give you a link to Facebook. The, the, all the links will be down in the description down, down below. And don't forget to comment on the video if whatever you might want to think up pops up into your mind. I am not making sense. I will see you guys in the next one.